All right, students, this is Lesson 26, Session 2. Go ahead and turn to page 539. We are working on developing decimals and fractions. So, a soccer camp has places for 100 students. So far, 60 of the places are filled. Write both a fraction and a decimal in both hundredths and tenths to show part of 100 places for students that are filled. So, it says they have a camp has places for 100 students and 60 of them are filled. So that's 60 one hundredths. To write this as a decimal, we can make our decimal chart here. This is tenths, hundredths, ones. There's nothing in our ones place. So we don't have any whole numbers. The ones place will be for whole numbers, so that's just going to be a zero. We bring our decimal down, and then it says 60 hundredths. So it would be 60 hundredths. But since there's a zero on the end over here, technically we don't even have to have that. So if we were going to have a second place value chart, We could just write a six, but we still have to have the zero in the front for the whole numbers. So instead of saying 60 one hundredths, we could just say six tenths, which means we could also write it as six tenths. And we should know that six tenths is equivalent to 60 one hundredths. So it's almost like decimals have equivalent fractions too, just the, it's a tad bit different. So, notice here we do not have to write this back zero. We do have to write the zero in the whole place though. Let's go ahead and turn to page 540. If you want to look at this like a model, um, right here there's 60 small squares of 100. So it would be 0 0.60. And over here, if you shade the same amount on this fraction, you have six bars, and so it would be six sections shaded, which is six tenths, um, but these are equal. They're the same thing. And then again, this is how you write it. We're going to skip page 541 and move on to page 542. It says, write a decimal equivalent to two tenths, draw a model that shows the fraction and the decimal. So our fraction, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There. So we would shade two in, or to write it as a decimal, it would be zero point two because that's two-tenths. Write a decimal equivalent to 83 one-hundredths. We always have a zero if there's not a whole number. And then we write 83 because if you read this, 83 hundredths, this is also 83 hundredths. Number eight, write the mixed number seven and nine-tenths as a decimal. This one we do have a whole number. So it starts with a seven and then we get a decimal. And then just like we read this, nine tenths, one place in our place value is tenths. So we just write nine. So seven and nine tenths, just like we read it. On page 543, Write the decimal equivalent to three-tenths in the place value chart. There's no whole numbers, so it's going to be a zero. And then this is three-tenths, so three-tenths. Write the decimal equivalent to 55 hundredths in the place value chart. There's no whole number. 55, so five, five, it finishes in the hundredths, 55 hundredths. Write a decimal equivalent to 75 one hundredths. There's no whole number, 
So then I write 75, 75 hundredths. Let's go ahead and turn to page 544. What is 2 and 5 tenths written as a decimal? We have two whole numbers and then 5 in the tenths place, so 2 and 5 tenths. That's C. Number 5. What decimal is equivalent to 81 hundredths? So you write the, there's no whole numbers. So then you write 80 one hundredths, but it could also be, we could get rid of this right here. So it could be 8 tenths because 80 one hundredths is equivalent to 8 tenths. So then we can shade, this is a hundred box, so we would have to shade eight of them. Look at problem five. Shade the model below to show an equivalent fraction in decimal and tenths. Okay, so again, we're gonna shade eight, except for this one's eight rows, whereas before, it was still eight rows, but the rows were divided into 10, whereas these are just divided into one. So this one would be eight tenths or 0 0.8. So on this one, technically, we should keep that zero there. But these are the same thing. Because anytime you have that zero on the back, you can get rid of it, but it has to be on the back. It cannot be in the front. And it cannot be in front of the 8. It has to be back here. And you do not have to do number 7. So that's it for today. I will see you back for lesson session 3.